We're going to go over four lung ultrasound imaging protocols. The first is how we would detect a pneumothorax. The patient needs to be lying supine in order for us to detect a pneumothorax. And then we're going to image along the anterior chest. Specifically, we're going to draw an imaginary line along the midclavicular line. We're going to image just around the nipple, so between the, the third and the fifth intercostal space. And we're going to take the transducer first just above the nipple and then drag it in the midclavicular line just below the nipple looking for lung sliding. We're also going to repeat that same procedure on the left side. So again, we'll image along the midclavicular line and then we will look and put the transducer between the second and the fifth intercostal spaces imaging as we slide down looking for lung sliding. When scanning for pneumothorax, we're going to take a curvilinear transducer. We're going to ensure that we're on the appropriate settings and we're going to aim for a depth between six and eight centimeters. We're going to place the transducer along the midclavicular line just above the patient's nipple. We're going to place the transducer down. We're going to identify a rib. We're going to identify the intercostal space and then the pleural line. Once we've done this, we're going to drag the transducer just below the nipple looking for lung sliding all throughout. After we've done this on the right side, we're going to repeat the procedure on the left. Again, in the midclavicular line just above the nipple, we're going to place the transducer down and drag it several centimeters until we're just below the nipple.